so just as the title said we are going to make some hair into some ash bond hair so i'm using these four bundles of hair and this is braiding hair now the least amount you put in will reflect the color that you would get so if you put less of the the number four you're going to get more of a blonde if you put less of the silver and gray you're going to get more of a brighter blonde so the gray was just there to help it with the ash look so the main thing is you have to constantly unravel detangle <laughs> um and mix the colors together that's the main thing so you're just going to be pulling the colors apart over and over and over until you get your desired color now get a denim brush i would prefer getting one bigger than this because it's easier to get through the hair and i believe this particular hair was just one of the bundles is really really cheap hair like it was just really really cheap hair and it made it even harder for me to like pull it apart and comb it uh yada 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 but nevertheless the color came out perfect but the main thing you are to have is patience when you're doing this process like do this process at least a day or two before you actually start to braid your hair because it takes long and you don't want to get really really excited about braiding your hair and you have to do this so this part right here it took me probably, I can't really remember, I'm not even going to hold you, but probably like an hour or two hours because I did it in, um, like I had like four or five bundles of hair. You only do need one pack of each of these hair to create this color. And I got two of each pack, but you don't need to. I'm just letting you know that now to save your buckets, but it's always good to have two just to be safe. And I'm just going to constantly do this over and over and over and over again until i get the desired shapes but the main thing is to make sure that you are breaking up the big clusters of color and the reason why i'm pulling so tight right here is because when it's time to brush it out it's easier to brush it out and the hair is not slipping then it gets all knotted then it you lose control of the hair it makes it worse and cutting it as you go will help you out with the tangling as well so these are just my few pointers that what i've done and like i said this video it it's just going to repeat itself i don't need to talk through this whole thing but basically get the big chunks out and another thing if you feel that the color is not like moving the chunks is hard to get out start getting smaller sections of other pieces of a hair color and then start to put it in little by little to see if that will help so for instance if you realize you have more black hair and you're just trying to get that black bundle broken down and it's just not working so start to incorporate do the 613 here add a little bit more of that one or the seven here or the 27 here just to make sure that you start to break it down a little bit more so those are just some of the keys that i can say and flipping in different directions will help as well. So I do hope this helped you guys. I do hope that um, if you do try this, you just let me know. And I will have the full detail a little bit shortly after when I post this one on the finished look, the beginning to end of the process of me actually braiding my hair. Thank you guys so much for coming to my channel. Thank you for allowing me to entertain you as well as to educate you. And I pray that this was very helpful. If you have any questions or comments down, please leave them down below. And I will try my best to answer them in a timely manner. Thank you guys. See you in my next video. Oh, really quickly. And if you was wondering what's all of this white stuff that's on my hand, I am doing like the Indian clay mask right now on my hair. I'm letting that deep condition. So that's still just all over my body. So I just wanted to let you know that. Okay, bye.